Okay. So we're halfway into game one. We have Kirby versus Corrin. This matchup is really obnoxious, but Kirby does have some anti Corrin tech. Uh, that's kind of like Kirby's thing. Like he'll have pretty, he'll have some like hidden things against like some bigger characters. But overall, he doesn't like come out on top. But you do have to look out for them if you're not aware of them. Um, also, Kirby's small, so it's a little bit hard for uh, Corrin to hit him. And so this is the part that Kirby struggles no matter what. Going to be trying to secure the kill because one, you have Corrin who's really heavy, and two. You know that Kirby's going to want to go for the grab, and so even though Korn's not the fastest, he's fast enough to get away from Kirby, you know? Uh, he's going to have those safe on hit, those safe on block hits, or just, oh my god. That's actually a really funny read right there, uh, knowing that he would not fade back because he used his jump and going for the stone. So I actually really like that. So what's interesting about this scenario is that at this point, he could technically... Uh, put him in a near zero death situation if he grabs him close enough to the ledge being like maybe one roll distance away from the center because Kirby has throw forward air re-grab yeah see in that situation he could have gotten the re-grab and done forward throw again into down air into a footstool but Kaizen just going with the blows and opting to just like get for that damage uh, it won't work at these percents it's very specific to work at low percent um, but yeah, you can ride them off the stage. Hey, I'll see. Yo, what's going on? We got Kaizen versus Valhalla, game one. And uh, Kaizen's actually doing a pretty good job of keeping it even versus Korn. This I was mentioning how this matchup, like, while Kirby, in my opinion, does lose, it's not the absolute worst because, like, every character, like, has to play in a certain way versus Kirby. And sometimes it doesn't fit their mold as well. And Korn is kind of one of them. Unless, unless Korn can like have a lot of space to do like retreating pins, because then that's exactly his model type. So on a stage like Town and City, uh, this is something I didn't get into. On a stage like Town and City, he's got plenty of ground where he can like kick back and still be on stage. So I'm actually curious. Um, obviously they struck here, so I'm, I'm curious to see that if Valhalla wins this. It wouldn't be the worst for Kaizen to pick a stage like Smashville because there's less ground. I mean, the thing is, they're both at kill percent. Yeah. Like, this could literally go either way because Kirby is a very light fluff ball. Back air is going to be able to send him off. And the thing is, you know, Kirby's got a lot of jumps to get back to the stage as safe as sound. Yeah. But so th there's that down tilt coming Kirby's not going to be able to up throw him until. You would know. 20 more. No. 15. Uh, no. Until well, 120. He might. Yeah, okay. no, Kirby will die soon. Seriously, Kirby's you know, max rage will kill at 120. I like the retreating neutral are coming out from uh, Valhalla, just trying to like keep Kirby on the ledge. Here we go. Pr practically even percents. Guys, look oh, at that up smash oh, with the double oh, footstool. <laughs> nice though. Still died. Still died after that double footstool. We have him bouncing on him over and over. I was. Uh, that was actually pretty sick. I was uh, a little shocked. So Valhalla was trying to take advantage of the uh, the footstools to try and just like disorient him, but he kind of just like kind of spammed it to the point where guys was like, I, I, "Okay, I, I see what you're doing." So let's here we go. So Kaizen taking game one and is going to be banning triplats. Yeah, uh, yeah. You had to do that against. No, Gordon, you know honestly. what? Honestly, I I would got I would have gone rid of Lilat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because uh, of the tilts. Lilat is just his domain completely because Korn. of back air. Domain. Uh, Corn's domain. Korn? Lilat yeah, yeah, yeah. on Corn. Oh my God! You uh, the situation where like he can, in situations where he doesn't insta pin the ground, he now insta pins you. Yeah, that's true. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh hey, I'm Kirksem. What's I'm joining. I'm joining here with Osti. Hey, so we're going to Smashville. Basicville, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this matchup, um, I can understand, you know, the character pick and the stage pick. Yeah, all right, I'm going to go Sheik and I'm going to go to Smashville. Sure. Sheikville? But, uh, you know, this is actually a matchup that is actually one of the closer to even matchups that Kirby has. I guess he died. Uh, just because, like, Sheik struggles to kill, just like Kirby. But now, Kirby at least, you know, uh, has, like, kill moves that aren't, Sheik up smash, which are like near impossible to hit, you know. Yeah, and um, Kirby also has um, a reason why Sheik went, um, shouldn't shield because of a uh, up throw. Yeah, exactly. She's light. Kirby can up throw Sheik at uh, 90 rage. At uh, no, with no rage, he can kill her at 142. 
So and with max rage 104. So oh, oh that big of yeah. a difference. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, because um, Sheik is going to give um, Kirby a lot of rage if she doesn't get those edge guards, those footstools, or whatever. I highly doubt because uh, Kaizen's well experienced with um, Kirby, he's not going to get footstooled. So I don't think that's something to worry about um, when it comes to taking an early stock. Uh, yeah, the only time when really you're going to trap Kirby into footstool situations is that you like literally force his hand like uh, to make him like go for an air dodge where you can act first, and then like he can't buffer a move fast enough to do something because like. He has to go for special and is like going for special immediately. Like up B has very limited use. Yeah. And so you have to be very careful. But see, at this situation right now, I'd say if Kaizen doesn't get the offstage game like worked against him, if he makes it back on the stage, he could he could be in a really good situation. Definitely. Uh, up throw definitely hyper improves uh, with platform chan there. Uh, just, but up throw won't kill right right now, not yet. He would need 30 more damage, and then, oh. Yeah, because right. uh, there was like an obvious punish right there when um, Bahola grabbed the ledge the second time with Vanish, and Kaizen didn't uh, punish it in time. But And that, because of that, he's going to lose his stock first. Mm -hmm. Now, if he wants, he could just play the campy game. Yeah, th that's the other thing. That's what Kirby like will really struggle with. Every character can just like kind of run away from him. He has no projectiles, uh, and he Unless just... He eats them. Yeah, but getting that is like really hard too. Yeah. You know, it's the singular yeah. needle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kirby with needles is awesome, dude. Okay, I like that. One of the best things you can do as a mix-up is like when you just tap them, you, they, everyone goes into like, well, most people will go into like an immediate panic mode, and they'll like try and get out of a situation because they feel they're in danger. Is that now, it? Up, no. up throw and kill yeah, for another four percent. Well, I mean, now that Kirby has some rage, it'll yeah, probably kill. Yeah, it should kill now. One or two pummels will take it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he could definitely pummel his way up to 142 anyway. And Kirby has a really good pummel. Ooh, back air. Sure have roared back air. Doesn't even need the grab. Yeah. Nope. Kaizen opting for a lot of these back air kills. I really like that. You know, back air is one of those moves that um, Kirby can do, like, really close to the ground. Uh, if, you do, if you do it right, like, when you're going downward, you can make it safe. But, uh, you know, it, it's just... It's something that you can sneak in. Okay. Ooh, going to the last hit of the down tilt, getting some big damage off of it. Landing just the landing hitbox. It's just great. impeccable spacing. All right, so you see he did like that short hop nair to like cover the jump, uh, and then like went into jabs. And we're seeing like really even percents. Um, oh, that oh, might be it, it. yeah. The classic, just go for the needle storm into a bouncing fish off stage. It's one of the ways Sheik's gonna be able to net one of her KOs off stage. Because sometimes she does have trouble, you know, trying to find that kill. Yeah, definitely. But. Yeah, and that confirm actually taking it really well. It was actually a pretty early percent compared to uh, other characters in like Midway and others. Yeah, Kirby being one of the lightest characters in the game, he's gonna die to that rather quickly, especially on the right side of Smashville. Mm -hmm. Do they still have that in Ultimate? What? The right side blast zone on Smashville? I mean, it's like a pixel. When I, like, it's still there. Yes. I don't I don't think it makes a difference. It's not. Because in this game, it's noticeable as hell. Is it? You, th I, you think so? Uh, yeah. Like, I guess. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just respectfully disagree. But Respect we're going yeah, 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 to yeah, yeah. Town and City. Uh, it was the ban of FD and Kaizen's counterpick to go to Town and City. Totally understandable. Uh, you want... He got rid of FD, and like a stage like FD when you're fighting Sheik is really good. So I get why Kaizen, uh, why Valhalla would get rid of it. You know, you're going to struggle hard enough to get kills, so having flat ground makes it even harder. And you have that speed. So Kaizen opting to go to town is just like, okay, fine. You have some platforms. We have an FD mode, though. And, you know, the, when the platforms are back, I can potentially up throw you much earlier. Now, the percentage difference from like normal stages to town. Is not going to be that much, but you know when it when it comes down to the wire, that little bit is all you need, you know. So it's going to be like maybe like four or five percent earlier. Here we go. He's going for the spot dodge. Goes for the simple down throw into the up B. We see DIing coming away from Valhalla in order to try to escape that little combo. And I also noticed that Kaizen wasn't really fully committing to the up B. You're gonna notice that Kirby's gonna do a lot of ducks in this matchup. Oh yeah. Able to yeah, he can duck needles, correct? Mm -hmm. 
Dunk right there. You saw him try to attempt to go for his own little pair of needles with that inhale. Also, it's kind of a good screen grab, just like in case someone's like laying right in front of you. You can catch them off guard. There we go. Just runs up, gets the grab, reads the air dodge. Not, Not enough it. to get the kill just yet. Seeing at 105%. Ooh. No stage spike coming your way. So he's finding the ledge with up E. Catches the runoff platform. Gets the back air coming out. This is going to be a very pivotal situation because whoever gets the first kill will be able to like run a lot of the uh, pressure. All right, good thing he sidebeat there because he was on the middle platform just a few seconds ago. <laughs> he, if he sidebeat, oh, whoa. Okay. I was thought he was hoping for grab. a roll. He was really yeah. hoping for a roll to the left catch for that up smash that would have killed. Just double jumps away. You got, oh, you got six jumps there, boy. Use them all. You're going to catch him with that dash attack. Trying to figure out where he's going to go. Jumps right in front of his face, out of shield, back air, gets the confirm off of his own back air. I'm surprised he just let him hit push. that. That wasn't true at all. I feel like he could have maybe air dodged. He could have air dodged. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe he was afraid. Mm -hmm. But now we got Sheik with rage. So let's see if... Uh, Big whoop. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely right. That, that just means, hey, I'm not going to get 40% on. I'm just going to take 20. Less combo damage. Ooh, good Ooh. mix up. Just the empty short hop into forward tilt. Just to pop Kirby up into the air. Kirby's time to shine. You see him trying to place out this uh, neutral air. Just try to cover some options on the on the edge. <laughs> trying to be sneaky with that final cutter. Ooh. He wanted that manage so right. bad. Good. I mean, that, uh, at that point, that was just a, kind of a reaction. Yeah. Honestly, he waited for the roll onto the stage. Just went for the up smash. But yeah, he, he was just like, yo, I'm standing right here. If he rolls, lit. Now we're sitting on our final stocks for these two. Mm -hmm. See him jumping away. Where's he going to go? Whoa, he was out of jumps right there. He almost got stage right. He was thinking about it. Watch it. Yeah, again, Kaizen playing very careful. You see him trying to hover higher into the air to avoid that up air. Mahal is hungry. Yeah, and she got hops. She can catch you on there. This could be big. Yeah, you got nothing out of that. That was super close. Yeah, that was really close. Almost caught him with his tippy toes. Gets a bound needle storm. No bouncing fish afterwards. Kaizen just kind of wasting all of his jumps. Gets hit by the sour spot of up smash and sends him into the blast zone, leaving Valhalla with a 2-1 victory in the first round of the tournament. Right. I, I always love it when we get these close matches in round one. It's been happening a lot lately, Ed, you know. Yeah, even great. though it was a, um, like Sheik was at 3%, it was still a close match because Kirby has some good, reliable combos on Sheik and fast flows in general. Yeah, so how's it going, guys? I'm joined here by Karkson. My name is Osti. We're here bringing you the final. The last. The final. Let me just uh, shift yeah. over. The final, you know, it is the 